Blue side, Edward Gaming, SK is on Bala, SR will be on Tyrael, Gemini is running Rhaegar, Kanjan is going to be on that split pusher Zagara, and M is on Thrall. Exactly what you would expect from this lineup of players, a really great draft for them, very much in their style. Over on the other side, one game away from a victory, it is MVP Black, Sake on Lee Ming, Kyocho on Tassar, Mary Day on Uther, Rich on Zeratul, and Sign on Muradin. Look at those skins, look at those mounts. Those might be on sale after this game. That's absolutely right. Uh, and this is going to be MVP Black's chance to prove that they are the world championship. They didn't even represent Korea in BlizzCon this time. They want to crush this tournament. If they win this game, they'll have won the entire tournament without dropping a single map. Just craziness, not something you would ever expect in any eSport, but MVP Black's dominance is real right now. EDG, the only ones with a chance of taking them down. All right, rotation down here, two bots, Sign and Mary Day setting up for a gank here. Gonna go for SK, they slow him, but there's no follow-up stun from Mary Day. Still a positive trade with health, and uh, they didn't lose any minion waves from that rotation. Everything looking fine for both sides still here. Looks like Rich going to be the solo laner up top just for a little bit here, which is completely fine. Uh, definitely a good solo laner to have. They're really valuing, Amy Black is valuing whoever lane Kanjan is in, ganking him, mm -hmm. pressuring him, making that push less valuable. Well, the game the game that was really, really close, Kanjan did all the damage with his split pushing. So definitely a smart move, I would say. Yeah, I think they're really reacting to his play style and countering it in a way. Stun goes down onto here to SR, a second one as well. He gets that third stun, but he does Altruins away. The Watchtower will be taken, and no matter how many stuns they can put down, he will not be killed. Yeah, but already that top Watchtower was taken by Thrall, so they're getting a heads up on that damage uh, against their opponents here. In fact, Edward Gaming gaining some big experience so far. Yeah, of course, uh, Kanjan down there versus Tastar in the bot lane. It's going to be kind of the 1v1 fight there. Mm -hmm. Good positioning here to stop MVP Black from rotating to stop Thrall. And because he's going to get that shrine slightly faster, we may see a rotation down to steal the last shots mm -hmm. of MVP Black's shrine. SR going to come down here. We'll get stun blocked oh, again. And he will, in fact, be blown up this time. Very well done there. Goes and actually gets rid of one of the, he kills the, tough one of one. the monsters there. He gives them a globe. I'm going to take a bit of damage himself. You're actually trading versus Rich and Sign. The positioning better here, though, for MVP Black, and they Ooh. will get the kill on him. Sign. Dwarf tosses away. Sake coming up to trade with Gemini. A little bit more of that health. Very fancy blink there by Rich, completing the body block and getting that kill. Really, really well done, showing that even though he doesn't play Zeratul as often, just as talented with that melee assassin. Looks like SR wanted to threaten Sake here, but he's always... You know, just out of reach of Mary Day. Never going to be afraid. Uh, doing a very aggressive teleport there as well. Not going to find much with it. And just looking at these builds, full wolf for Rhaegar. So we're going to be able to uh, zoom around the map mm -hmm. a lot faster. Going to be able to That's... rotate around on this map, which is such a huge map. So I like that choice a lot. Becoming yeah. more popular these days. Well, yeah, especially in this tournament. Like, this is where we've really seen it picked up. And it's done great effects so far for our Rhaegar players. The Chinese absolutely love it. And as somewhat of a response to Zeratul, we do see Vala going for a full arrow. So maybe you might be able to beat him in the duels. Yeah, we've seen that as well from Edward Gaming quite often. One of the teams that really favors Ball, and now it looks like we do have a little bit of a scuffle near this boss. EDG going to back up and start work on these Siege Giants. They need to because the Siege Giants are, or rather they need to uh, not lose anybody here because the Siege Giants are pushing Bot. They can't actually contest this. I think they actually have to go down and defend Bot before they deal with this. So Meanwhile, M. Ooh, Rich getting very low. M though, oh my gosh, look at that. Rich so low on health. He's just such a god tier flex player for this team. Plays tanks, he plays assassins, he's flex, he does, you know, he'll, he's gonna be the hard carry type player. He's gonna be the player that plays the high scap, skill cap heroes, and you're gonna see him be the one who kills these players in these 1v1 trades. Yeah, he's doing an absolutely great job, just not dying at all anywhere so far. Continuing to soak a lot of experience for his team as well. Right now we do have EDG pushing forward towards this tower, already having taken one down. Okay, here knowing he's vulnerable, the watchtower is being taken, is gonna go up and around on the escape. Actually gonna stay in the bush here. Looks like we're gonna hearth there back. No one does punish that. No one tries to 
react to that, but here is the scary shrine. This is the level eight shrine where the winner of this will likely get their heroics and get a fort with that all that damage. Well, you know what? You say that right now, but we actually have a big push by EDG up top, looking like they want to get their own fort without a special laser gun. Yeah, that's right. They're just going to do it the old-fashioned way, knock it down. We'll grab the cannon tower here as well with this last wave. What a smart decision coming up here from EDG. MVP Black sees what's going on, starts pushing in as well. But hey, look at Kanjian right here, pushing them back a bit, saying, no, let the lasers do your work for you. All right, let's see what happens when EDG comes down as well. If they can actually trap and surround some of the members of MVP Black here, it could be disastrous. Here comes Gemini up at the front, trying to put a slow onto Kyocha. Unfortunately, probably the worst target for that. And it stops the push here. So it ends up being a fairly even trade. MVP Black getting just a little bit ahead in EXP. But so far, this is a super, super even game. MVP Black will be reaching level 10 first, it looks like. But, I mean, it's neck and neck. No one has a lead, really, at this point. See, Rich is trying to soak up that EXP in the top lane uh, and is trying to grab that 10 first. Looks like with just one more or two more minutes, he will actually go ahead and come back towards the fight. Looks like EG actually favoring grabbing these bruisers to keep that lane pushed in the top. It's already pushed so far, and they know that's one of the strong points in this game. It's going to give them a lot of vision and pressure. Uh-oh, it looks like they are waiting for a gank here on SR, taking a lot of damage. It looks like he might end up going down. Great Eldruid's might to get out, though. Yeah, really tricky with that one. A smite coming down just for safety there as well. It looks like MVP Black's just going to let this go, but they do hit 10. Force Wall is up. So is Wave of Force yet again. So they're going to be using that for these engages, trying to grab Vala or even, you know, Zagara or Thrall in some circumstances. Yep. Looks like, though, we will have 10 popping up right now for EDG. We'll take a look at what they grab. Looks like Sunder, Ma, Ancestral, Sanctification, and Vala, really, this is the one where it could go either way. It could be Strafe, it could be Rain of Vengeance. Rain of Vengeance would pair well with Strafe if they get it, or rather with uh, Sundering if they get a good one. But they're going to go for Strafe. So hoping to maybe do massive damage to us. Anything that comes out of that Maw, anything they can isolate, even in the late game, perhaps, uh, with that. Uh, material block, you know, with this the holy ground. This is definitely going to allow Vala to stay further back as well. You know, they already have some frontliners there. Zagar and Vala are going to try to stay back, but it looks like right now a lot of damage being put onto SR. He's going to try to get out of there. Rich is there, though, putting a lot of damage on as well. Oh. Boy, for some does go up. This is to stop the orb. Amal used defensively here, but there's the force ball. Oh, nice sanctification. Going to make sure that they get that ancestral. Oh, but we do have Rich as you're getting Divine Shield, so he will make it out. In the meantime, Sign taking a lot of damage, does get blown up, and that is the first kill of the game for EDG. That's right, they're evening up this EXP a little bit more, but now 5-4, to four. can they try to soak a little bit of both shrines? M aggressively moving in here, trying to grab a kill on Rich, he blinks away. And nothing getting done here yet, they don't even take the Watchtower. Merry Day, though, is going to be the next target. He's isolated, he thought he might be able to run Ooh. and hearth in the bushes, but they're going to pick him off. That's a really big kill right there, and that's going to take just a little bit for him to come up. The temples are already active. We do have Rich sitting in the top, getting some of these free shots, but SR going to go up and steal it. Yeah, so only a few shots there taken. This map completely controlled by EDG right now. In fact, Gemini even looking for perhaps some damage here onto Sake. Going to look for the teleport here out of the bush. Mm, Actually, not going to get away. Sake. In fact, oh, oh my god! The teleport. Gemini soloing Sake right there. A big mistake for Sake, one we never see him make. Yeah. Teleport just did not quite go over the wall there. Gemini will get blown up by Rich here as well, though. SK's now in trouble. He's Whoa. here alone. That strafe dealing some damage before he gets out. Beautiful dodge on that storm bull, and in fact does end up living. Rich does some poke and backs up afterwards. Force wall to help them disengage here. Merry Day coming down for the heals. Almost dead even in EXP right now. The shrine uncontested. Watchtower controlled by MVP Black. Looks like they are going to go ahead and step on this bot shrine. All right. It looks like they are going to start getting these shots right now. And we do have everyone up on both sides. Taking a look at the heroics. Looks like everything but Strafe is going to be up for this next fight. And Strafe, not that far off. Strafe, very, very soon. 20 seconds. Level 13 is hit here for Black just a second before. EDG going to be eating that with just a few more minions as well. And the Shrine still controlled. Sign here just tanking it. In good position here. Kanjan actually going to be the one who checks the bush here. And SR comes in as well. It looks like Kyocha does get rooted. He does get to go ahead and phase shift out of there. A uh, sign sitting over to the side. He does have to dwarf toss away. The Giant's kind of putting some pressure on the front here. And EDG is starting to take the shots. 
Okay, looks like they're gonna take the final shots here, but it looks like MVP Black moving in for an engage. Look at this, coming around, Sign does get the stuns down onto M, and then Sessual essentially wasted here, but a lot of strafe damage going down to Kyocha. Void oh, only hits one. Oh, and Rich might be going down, a great Divine Shield does fall. Sign going ahead, popping his avatar, trying to get out of here as well. Everyone very low for MVP Black. Piercing Bolt gonna help save him there as well as that Forest Wall. But a one fight here, a one trade for EDG. The SR was thinking about jumping in on the sake there, but doesn't want to take the risk. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they've got the last of those shots. They won that fight. They have control. They force a big hard, and they're going to boss after wow. this. Wow. Look at this call. This could be a little bit dangerous. They are coming back already. Merry Day seeing what's going on. But we do have that little bit of a flank from Kanjian. Oh, missed shots there by Sake. I don't know if they can actually interrupt this. Uh, wave of Force is up, but I don't think they can either. They're just going to let it go. They try to use the Wave of Force. It doesn't work. SR helping to zone, and a nice boss off of that tiny, what? tiny advantage they had. What a tight call there by EDG, getting that boss just in the nick of time, zoning everyone out. Great play by Kanjian on the side there, forcing them away. I'm loving it, man. They are really bringing it in this third game. This boss is going to go down to the spot for it, and Shield's trying to keep it alive. It's getting pretty uh, sustained here, I guess uh, pretty protected by those shields. Even the force wall going down here looks like it will just barely be saved. Very, very close mm -hmm. there. And they do take another four at the same time. So structurally, they're doing a fantastic job. They are winning in that. Well, I guess actually it's even right now in that regard. Yeah. That bottom one, though, very, very low. Yeah, that, very low. So it, a slight advantage to EDG, yeah. but they nearly got it with this Bosch push. All right, well, they have gotten that Bruiser Camp up at the top. Now, with everyone rotating up to take care of the Bruiser Camp, what does EDG do? They're rotating downwards towards the bottom. Rich is down there right now. Ooh. Could they catch him, perhaps? Rich does see this, and they're going to ro rotate down to try to punch this. He's trading with SK to slow down this Merc take, and here comes Sign up at the front, and I think EDG needs to disengage here. Yeah, SR a little bit out of position. Missed Stormbolt there by Sign. That's kind of a big deal. That's going to allow EDG much easier to get out. SR up here at the front. He really wants it. They're committing to this so hard. Kanjan very low, though. Stace is going Ooh. down on four heroes here. That Void Prism, very important. And it looks like EDG, EDG will secure this, but at what cost? Well, it looks like Sign popping out of this Void Prism. We actually do have a Grey Ancestral going down onto Zagara here. The Vine Shield going down into Sign as well, but it looks like MVP Black won't win this fight and we have to turn around and retreat here. Very even trades on both sides. Mm -hmm. EDG, of course, getting that camp though. Just a little bit of pressure to take this bot shrine, which is the next available one, and yeah. gain them that 16. And hey, those giants that they fought so hard for finished off the fort, it looks like, as well. They are getting this right now, this bottom temple. While MVP backs up, they do tap well. I think EDG just has to get out of here. They cannot stay. SR went back for mana, and they did a lot with this. But yeah, I think the safer choice to back off grab these Giants. The rest of the numbers that are low on like Gemini, for example, may want to consider backing here as well. SK is also very low. Well, looks like they're going to go back and re-enter lane. We do have SR back completely full. He did Hearthstone before everyone came back from MVP, so he's getting in here and trying to challenge for this Shrine. MVP Black does hit 16 first. Uh oh that's actually a big deal. That 16 talent here coming up. We do have Sanctification popped just to save SR's own life. Yeah, Solo Sank here going to be a bit of a problem. No disengage after oh. this. Big Roots, though, going down onto Kyocha, but it's SR who dies first. His passive here not accomplishing much, and EDG going to have to get out of here, and this means Maybe the Shrine will be taken from MVP Black. Kyocha is very low, however. Yeah, I don't know if they can actually get him, though. We actually do have a wave of force going down there onto Zagara. And, oh, just not the Sunder M was looking for. Oh, my God, a Dwarf Toss forward here by Sign. Missing the Storm, but once again, but he does pop the Avatar. Such a greedy fight here for MVP Black, but Rich is going to try to zone M out of that Void Prison. Not going to happen. And MVP Black, two of their members, so low. Very low mana on Kyocha as well. Looks like both teams are just going to kind of agree to back off, but because EDG is forced closer to their uh, base, looks like MVP Black will take the last of these shots. A very big and highly contested fight, though, to decide this. The way that these teams fight together is really second to none. Fantastically done. Every fight has been so close, down to the wire. But right now, everyone is up on both sides. We do have more heroics down over on the side of MVP Black, so just something to keep in mind for the next minute or so. A big win, though, even though that fight didn't wasn't that bloody, there weren't that many kills. A big win for Black because they secured a safe hearth where there were no objectives on the map. They got the last of the shots, and all during that time, while they had that long fight, the Bruisers were pushing top, so top cannon towers are out of ammo. So a strong push after a team fight here could actually get them a keep.
All right, well, right now we do have a little bit of posturing here in the middle of the map. We have actually Rich up taking the Watchtower and coming down on the flank. EBG rotating downwards. They don't want to be caught off guard now that they don't have vision from that, that shrine. That's right. Looks like uh, just defensive posturing your socket, just dropping magic missile after magic missile to check these brushes. Maybe do a little bit of poke damage. He's mostly just using his missiles to check. He's not going to get China <laughs> by yeah. EDG here. China loves to hide in the brush. And uh, finally, these Siege Giants will spawn, and we'd like will secure this. Sign in perfect position to make sure no deny attempts go off here. All right, a lot of damage going down onto SR, and he actually does have to back away. We do see the cleanse going down. Yeah, with Amplified Healing, he can stay alive, but he doesn't have that big of a health pool, so if mm -hmm. he gets too isolated, he can be killed. Yeah, in fact, Rich kind of going after him there, just putting damage on him over and over. We do see Kyocha getting caught out of position a bit, but of course he can shift out of there. You know, he's looking like he just wants to continue to give vision and presence, Ooh. maybe also force cooldowns to be blown on him as well, because mm -hmm. uh, he can just simply escape them. Yeah, this is this is a crazy game right now, man. Still very close. It looks like we do have a bit of an engage going down onto SR. He will live through this for the time being. Force wall goes down, doesn't accomplish too much. No. He's taking a lot of damage. Again, going to have to go back, maybe even tap here. The trades that we're seeing on SR are always positive. And because they have this pop that can poke with Zeratul uh, and Wormhole, as well as Li Ming's magic mm -hmm. missiles, which she's built into uh, on her level 16, uh, I do like that they do this repeatedly. Yeah. They, they have a slight advantage at every moment here, it looks like. Like, they keep on chunking down the health of SR. Yes, keep backing up, healing up a bit. Of course, as you said, amplified healing helping out a lot with that. But uh, just no good engagement yet from EDG. And look at this. MVP is ready. Oh, this could be disastrous. This could be their championship they could earn right here, right now, off of this engage. MVP Rich looking for that Void Prism. Doesn't drop it yet. All right, we do actually see M throw down that center. It's not the best, but we have the Sanctification coming down. A huge Void Prism. Very big Void Prism here. What's going to be the follow-up? They don't have much here. Sign is going to go up and do a huge Thunderclap. They're trying to grab the kill onto Kun John, but he does get escape there, or rather does get Ancestral. The follow will go down. Oh. Sign going up to the front lines. SR very low. Oh, this is going very poorly for EDG. MVP Black really pushing forward with two kills to zero so far. Oh, huge Maw here defensively, but Sake is not going to stop. He wants to kill a catch on a Rich will blink in and grab it. And that's three down here. This may secure MVP Black a keep. But their temples are up. You know what? They're not even going to push for this. They're just going to get that safe siege damage. They're nearly level 20. With only Rhaegar and Tyrael up, there's not a lot that they can do against yeah. Hive right now. They can clean the lanes, but that's about it. And with the double temple, they are damaging these keeps so quickly. So much damage to be done. And if Edward Gaming actually overextends on the defense, they could end up losing more. They are going to invade this one, which is where Kyocha is low. But maybe Black just going to hearth back with the rest of the members, ignore this. And Sign is actually still keeping the, the Shrine controlled. I mean, they're doing a great job holding on to this, but EDG fighting tooth and nail, seeing what they can get done. SR might actually end up falling here. They realize that they need to do something or they're going to lose this game. It oh. looks like he will end up falling. Really, you know, interesting choice, a desperate choice here for yeah. EDG. I feel like, as I was saying, this, I literally just said, if they overextend here trying to stop this from happening, they may lose another member. They don't want to lose a keep. They were trying to prevent it, but they're going to lose a keep. They lost SR, and a lot of damage being done on this mid keep as well. Looks yeah. like it will just barely live after the five shots. It's going to be close, actually. Yeah, it might, it might it's really hard to down say. down here, I think. But anyways, uh, oh, <laughs> that was really, really close. Looks like MVP going to rotate into this boss, which will probably kill the other keep here. I mean, I, they're up a member, they're up a couple keeps, maybe soon to be three, and level 20 hasn't been reached for Edward Gaming. Edward Gaming needs the Sunderings and Maws of all, t like the best ones the world has ever seen mm -hmm. to come back in this game. They will have to win multiple team fights. The top lane is always going to be pushed against them here. The boss is now pushing bots, so they're likely to lose their last keep here. Looks like Coach is just going to yeah. side storm and finish this mid keep off. <laughs> nice slow to deny him. In fact, they're going to dive on a Kyocha here, but of course, Dimensional shifts right out of there. Okay, we do have the boss coming up. This could end up being game. Yeah. If they lose anybody, Edward Gaming might get killed. They have to engage perfectly. They have their Maw up. They have their Sundering. They need them to both to be perfect, and they're fighting under boss. So you need to be careful of the boss's root as well as his stun. 
SR looking to be in good position here. Sign actually jumps in, going for that stun onto SK. We actually do have SK healed up very quickly there. Rich getting on top of him though as well. And we do have a giant Void Prism coming down. And M is dead as well. And SK gets knocked back by the wave of force. He's going to get killed as well. And this is going to be game. Kyoja can't even get back into the Hall of Storms. The boss is on the core. We've got four men on the core. And MVP Black are going to be your world champions here. Ama attempted to slow this down, but there's nothing they can do. That is gonna be it, GG!